Grave in the name, keep in my bay, sheep in my bay, grave in the name, sheep in my bay, sheep in my bay. Grave in the name. Fucking love Raven. Tell she me. had one of my favorite uh the albums of twenty eighteen. Seventeen. 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 Shit. Uh number four, in fact. I love that EP so much for number four. The Moon Boots? Moon Boots EP. Mm. Ten tracks. And she's come back. Is this an album or EP? EP. Yeah, that's five track EP. Crush EP. I've heard one track called Sticky. It's Same. Track one. Haven't heard anything else. Also saw the video of Sticky. Really, really fucking beautiful. And so uh, before we get into it, for those who would continue watching this, why would people want to listen to Raven? What type of sound does she have that's similar to artists they may know? Uh, I don't know. I find her vocals are very different to anyone else that I've ever heard. Nice. Which is why I really like it. But maybe in terms of production, maybe someone like... Yeah, good. So I like it. It's a good one. I don't know, man. I can't, I can't think of comparisons around here. I thought that was you for a second. Hey, hey. Back out oh. all that JPEG Mafia took from us. <laughs> Thank you, Raven. Thank you, Raven. One of my favorite tracks of the year so far. Really? Top five, yeah. Beautiful, man. It's, I love it's it. catchy. The catchy it's a nice sounds. poppy sound. And she's got such a different voice out there. You playful. Very playful. Very sort of uh, mischievous. Ooh, mischievous. Mm. We never use that word in music, right? She makes me feel like that. Huh? She's mischievous. Mm. Mm. Like she's getting up. Makes me feel like she's gonna like, you know, take my hand, take me to like a secret hidden garden where we we'll kiss and like we'll laugh about it. like Ooh, we're kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my soul still go. Oh shit! <laughs> um, I fuck with that track. And she, I noticed she makes you move your body and dance in a different way yeah. too, right? Makes me really, makes me really like giggy, giggy. Yeah, I don't often see you move like that, so I think I've got to point that out. Yeah, makes you move differently. Track two, closer owed to you. Oh my God, Raven, thank you. Ah, so good, Raven. That was so bloody smooth. I loved her vocal pitching. I love the tones she oh, hit. I love her highs and lows. I love the, the guitar, and that was really beautiful. Slight keys, like little 
Just the pace of it was just really. Yeah, the pace. That's we don't have to talk about pace of the song, do the we? The pace was really nice. Like just like really smooth, really calm. Just a really but good vibrant. track. Just vibrant. Just a really good track. Yeah, man. The vocal display was beautiful. The whole time I stayed engaged, start to finish, just jamming, just really having a good time. She just makes me feel just really, just really, just really happy. It's really sort of pleased to just be doing what I'm doing, whatever it is. You a fan of Steve Lacey? I love Steve Lacey. Computer Love. Shout out to Featuring Steve Lacey. Don't give us JPEG Mafia on us, Raven. Right, Just stop start shit. I thought it was a bit basic. I thought it felt the same. I thought for Steve Lacey's a feature, giving him his own part. For Steve Lacey is an amazing singer, very talented um, musician. Uh, I thought him just pairing himself with Raven on the hook was a bit of a waste. Very, like it wasn't bad, but like it just was very, it was kind of bland to me. Especially after the first two tracks, which both had a lot of life to them. Yeah, yeah. There was so much life. It's to not a bad there. track, but it's just like an average track, you know? Exactly. Like in the background, they're cool, but like just paying really attention. First two tracks, Spawn Boy Room. That's just me. I feel you. I still love you, the Raven. I still love you. The Night Song. I like the, I like the, sh the, the shimmering keys on that. Mm. I like the overall sound. I love the bouncy. I love the guitar on that. I love, I love the way she used the hook and layered her vocals. I love how she keeps her high notes so vibrant. She's definitely, she's one of my favorite artists coming up, and that was such an incredible song. I really like that song. I mean, there's not a lot to be said what about it? it. We just really enjoyed it. Sticky, O2, Night, Night Song, I think it was. Those three tracks. Those three tracks alone are like fucking amazing to me. Like, holy shit. I mean, the track four wasn't bad, but just these other three tracks are just so fucking superior. And so like, it's just like she's displaying her own, just like a huge form of like her style. I don't think anyone really sounds like her. I mean, there probably are people that she's inspired by that sound similar to her, but I can't think of them. Mm. That's a dope when you can carve your own little she's just, lane. She's just doing her thing. She's still so young too. Fucking dope track. Really cool track. Four Leaf Clover once again featuring Steve Lacey. Oh, you didn't think so? No, I really liked it. I still think the other three tracks were better though. Yeah? Because it had more of a hypnotic sort of state. So instead of having like Raven's vocals really leading the way, like I felt like this track was a bit more held back and more chill. Well, at least Steve had a large impact on it. Oh, yeah. Steve was a lot better here. He actually got his own way to shine a bit. Which is um, funny because Steve had the two tracks I least liked. But 
all in all, really cool EP. Just raving, having a bit of fun, having a bit of more fun with new sounds. Like still her, still her sound, but still a bit of difference. I reckon Steve would have had a lot to, to do with the producing of the EP too. Um, fuck yeah, I love I love Raven there. She's a fucking dope up kind artist, and this is a really cool EP. And thank you for showing me her last year. Um, I I I really I like it. Um, I like it. I really like it. I like it to really like it. And her, I don't love it like you do. I, I'm not at the love stage yet. You know, I just need some X factor to really turn me over. See, I'm at the like stage with this EP, but the Moon Shoes EP was love. Start to finish, that thing is fucking beautiful. Mm. All right, man. Raven and Lene, you made a you made a pretty aesthetic, vibrant, colorful. Hey. Also, yeah, I'm just gonna say, I hope we get some more videos from you too. Cause sticky video was cool. More music videos? Yeah, man. All right. More chance to get to see her. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Raven, keep making music, keep pumping out EPs, mixtapes, and maybe an album one day. Maybe a cohesive body of work. That'd be cool. We will be on it. All up. Jungle motherfucking Jungle Beats. Beats. Check out Raven Lene, man. Type her in Spotify, yeah. Apple Music. Check her out. Tell her Jungle Beats sent you. And then touch my kneecaps. And you scared the last thing on my brain. Sleeping.